Welcome back to another Bizarre Beat. Today I'm going to show you the weirdest beat I've ever made going into an Indian market. So let's dive right in. Step one, you're going to want to grab a bag of Maggie, not Maggie from The Simpsons, but Maggie noodles that like people like to eat and shit. And you're going to take that and crumble it up and make a good snare sound using that. Next, we're going to take some curry in a box and we're going to slap it to use a Punjabi clap for our drum kit. Then we're going to take garlic paste and slap it against the tikka masala jar. That way the tikka masala gets mad at the garlic and that way we can create a nice little keyboard sound. Step one, find a small portion of the loop, make sure it's looped, add a low pass filter, add a little bit of resonance, LFO for up and down movement, and play chords. We're gonna take a bag of cumin and we're gonna shake it up and down. This is gonna be used as our maracas. Mariachi approved. Then we're gonna take a bag of noun, we're gonna throw it up in the air and grab it. This will be used as a nice little kick drum. Make sure you put it back in the fridge. Please be respectful of your local Indian market. Then we're going to go put the microphone up to the fan, capture the fan, and we're going to use this to create a bass sound. First, you're going to want to take the fan sound, loop a small portion of it again, add a low pass filter, pitch drop, transpose, tune, and create a bass line. Once you've established a proper bass line, make sure you find an old 60s Bollywood film that's kind of creepy and black and white. Make sure the guy is clearly not being paid enough to be there and looks kind of miserable. And I think he just got hit in the face by a tree. Yep, there we go. That's pretty awkward. Put that sample into Simpler. We're going to slice it up, pitch it down seven semitones, and make it sound like Squidward took a lot of LSD. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the final beat.